heads up world decided to start this video a little bit different as uh, I knew what I had to do this morning was uh, time consuming and I just wanted to get into it before I uh, decided I didn't want to get into it so the first two hours of my morning let me flip this camera around and uh, show you the progress I've made uh, in this part which I'm not done I still got to run the uh, weed eater perhaps the edger down the edge of the sidewalk see if I can get it to work but anyway hold on all right so after I uncovered this stuff underneath of about six inches there's my time-lapse camera underneath about six inches of leaves and in spots here the uh, dirt itself is actually about six inches deep but uh, you can see all these roots burning through here and give you an idea of exactly how long it's been since this uh, sidewalk has seen the light of day but wait there's more I got that whole uh, hedge assembly there uh, shortened down. Uh, you'll see that one tall thing hanging up over there in the middle that I've kind of left being tall. Uh, that's actually a loquat tree. Uh, produces a little fuzzy fruit, kind of like a peach. It's got a pit inside of it. Uh, they're kind of a orangish color, but and they're tasty. Uh, ah, I still got a vine to pull off the window. I thought I'd gotten all the vines. And yeah, this is a really busy street. There's no... Uh, amount of noise I can make on this road that's any worse than what's already here but yeah so I got to come back down through here and f finish this part still haven't gotten to those leaves yet I'm gonna spend uh, probably the last 45 minutes that I'm here today bagging these leaves because um, I'm gonna run out of bags and I don't want to have to I'm not in the mood to bag them all right now and have to go get more bags so at the end of the day I'll just bag until I'm out of bags but anyway uh, that debris pile just keeps getting bigger. After this, I'm going to go cut the backyard, in theory. Not sure if you can see it. <laughs> uh, there's a trailer in there. Um, who knows? Maybe if I dig it out, the old guy will let me have it. Uh, <laughs> which would be cool. It'd be a perk to the job. <sighs> so, yeah, I had to cut this yard on two different levels, two passes per stripe. As so I had to go up and back on the same stripe and then drop it down. Oh, now I get to figure out what to do with all this. Uh, there's a fence in there somewhere, and I don't know exactly how the around to the other side of the house access works, but I guess I'm working toward being able to access all sides of the outside of the house. However, at the moment, I think I'm going to work on trying to dig this trailer out of here. All right, so, slight change of plan. I made the realization that... If that trailer that's back there is to come out of this yard, I need to be able to get my truck into this yard, or his truck for that matter. Whether he ends up keeping it or I end up keeping it, I'm going to offer him three more days of work uh, in this yard next week for it. Um, if it's in decent shape, if it's rotten, I don't want anything to do with it. But <laughs> so far, oh, man, it's amazing. There's a shed back there. <laughs> uh. All right, so slight change of events on this trailer. I talked to the uh, gentleman uh, about this trailer. I really hope it's in decent enough shape when I get it out of there. Um, but if I do three more days worth of work for this guy next week, I can have this trailer because there's no way that I'm going to be able to get this yard done in one more one more day. Um, this, there's probably 40 yards of, of uh, property to get to in through here um, but so this is going to end up being a, a six part video this being part two I'll be back here tomorrow um, and then I'll be back here three days next week so 
hopefully when I unearth that trailer there it doesn't end up biting me in the ass and being completely rotten however that could be a whole nother trailer rebuild video um, to which up it's probably gonna need something but the idea behind that is to probably pull it out of there and sell it because I already have a trailer but back porch is accessible let that stuff dry out like I did in the front hit it with the blower again tomorrow and it'll blow right away um, I got to do I don't know what I'm doing here uh, there's a bunch of big trees right next to the house there's all kinds of windows down in there and uh, I got to do something there so I'm probably gonna end up cutting those trees down there is a tree down over here that's all engulfed in the vines there's I mean there's stuff in here that might be worth saving like that's I think that's a camellia maybe underneath there it's hard to tell because all the foliage that I really see is the vines but it's got a general shape um, that over there is an Eliagnus it'll be easy to put a shape on but I'm gonna have to cut I can tell there's a magnolia tree growing in the middle of all of that Eliagnus uh, it's a you look up the definition of the Eliagnus and it's an ugly vine like bush which is exactly what that is all that shit shooting off of there um, and then trash 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 and then I don't know what to do over here other than cut all that down um, I have to take it one tree one bush at a time see if I can't get the front of this trailer uh, unburied and pull it out and at least stick it over here and let it kind of dry out a little bit because I would imagine it's a little soggy in there I'm gonna have to look to see if it needs tires probably needs air in the tires at least but I'll bring my jack do that anyway another story for another day this is all the progress that I've made today I'm in cleanup mode at the moment I'm um, dragging everything out giving it a final blow so that it's not a mess everywhere the uh, city actually came and picked up there was a pile of debris from that red car all the way over to behind my truck and they picked it up minus the unbagged leaves which is fine I got to bag that I'm probably gonna have to go get another 60 bags tomorrow anyway there's as far as we've gotten on that today you saw the front already I hacked all this down <laughs> But uh, slow and steady, so here's part two of what's going to be a six-part series. Oh, let me finish getting cleaned up here. I think this guy's daughter is coming over. So, final thoughts on the day. Uh, I've now spent ten and a half hours in that yard. Um, and although I've made progress, I'm nowhere near done. Um... I had originally uh, sold that job at, at 12 hours, looked at it, added three to it just on my own accord at no extra charge just because I knew there was no way I was going to be able to get that done at 12. But upon talking to uh, that little old guy, he's going to give, well, he's not little, I apologize, to the old gentleman, uh, he's going to give me that trailer that's in his backyard. It's uh, it's like a 5 by 7 utility trailer. It's got red framing on it. It's got treated boards. I dug around over there. I haven't dug it out yet, but I dug around over there, and it's uh, it still appears to be in fairly decent shape. So I'm gonna get that thing yanked out of there. Probably not tomorrow. Uh, probably next week because I'm gonna give him 15 more hours of my time for uh, for that little trailer. Um, I mean, I don't think it's worth that much. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet. If I'm gonna keep it, if I'm gonna sell it. I am kind of bouncing around in the back of my head that I could get a chemical spray rig for the back of that thing to uh, pick up a whole different genre of, of business and spray for mosquitoes. <clears throat> However, it's the wrong time of the year for that, but letting that trailer sit in the backyard uh, over the winter, not going to hurt anything. I mean, it's been where it's at to the point where it's got trees that are five inches in diameter at its base. It's been sitting there for a minute. What's another five months? But... Uh, I'll be excited to get that thing out of there. I'll be excited to be able to actually walk around the outside of that guy's house. Um, you know, I've reestablished the, the front sidewalk. I haven't cut the edge of it yet with the edger. That'll be the... Uh, I didn't have any more bending over in me today. i got to do things in spurts to keep my body in, uh, in working order, you might say. Because if you, do it all, you try to do it all at one time, you kill yourself. Which is why I'm doing it five, five and a half hours a day at a time that... I could go out and work eight hours doing regular, you know, regular maintenance, eight, ten hours in a day, and it's no big deal. But when you're doing heavy cleanups and lifting, and when it comes time to, uh, you know, move 
50, 60, 70 pound bags of leaves, you know, you got to do it in moderation or you kill yourself. And that's why I stopped working for a company and started working for myself. Because I'm not looking to die anytime soon and I'm sure the wife will look over me and look over at me and smile when she watches this part of the video and go, oh, well, I don't want you to die either. Yeah, you realize that till death do us part was a goal, right? <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. I'll be back at it tomorrow. Uh, I need to bring a charge block with me for the uh, the other camera that I've run the, uh, uh, the time lapse on because it died in the middle of cutting the grass. However, no harm, no foul. That's it for now. So yeah, there'll be one more tomorrow, which is Thursday, and then I will pick back up weather. Weather depending, I will pick back up Monday, if not Tuesday of next week, because we may actually get some rain, and if, if it's raining, I'm not standing outside in it, so. Yeehaw. Peace out. Fuckers. <laughs>